Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And before we get started, today's shout out goes to Om148 uh, Kung Channel. Om148 Kung Channel was the first to say first in one of our recent videos, and this one's a shout out. So, congratulations. Uh, what do we got for you today? This is the SJRC S20W D 720P model. Now there is a, also a 1080p version, 1080p camera version, uh, but I'm going to review the 720p to show you what the cheaper, what the cheaper version looks like. Um, what is this particular quadcopter? It is a GPS quadcopter. This is the year of GPS and optical position hold. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of uh, cheap, and, or, well, relatively inexpensive uh, GPS quadcopters this year, along with a lot of relatively inexpensive uh, optical position hold. What that means is the uh, pilot doesn't really have to fly the quadcopter. It'll fly itself and hold its own position there. Um, you just need to move it around every once in a while. We're at a different position where you want to fly. And most of them also have cameras installed, and as does this one. What does this have? This has, again, a 720p HD camera. Again, there is a 1080p version. This camera swivels up and down remotely using the remote control and records video directly to a uh, micro SD card inserted into the back of the camera. It uh, transmits video also to your phone so you can watch FPV video directly uh, while flying on your phone. Um, it is uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you don't need a newer phone to see this Wi-Fi. Um, uh, additionally, you know, it is a brushed motor quadcopter, uh, very similar to other brushed motors in this size. You know, it has that old uh, DJI look to it, uh, but in a small size, along with the battery. <laughs> the battery has that look, too. Um, this is its battery. It is a 1,000 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt uh, LiPo battery, uh, proprietary, which means you have to charge it, or it, you charge it with a micro USB uh, cable into this and these lights light up Four four blue lights give you means it is fully charged let's see if we got to press and i don't know if you can see those lights or not let's press it again to turn it off um but again it is a proprietary battery so you're going to need to buy this type of battery from sjrc or the vendor who sells this has to sell sjrc batteries for this particular quadcopter let's go over the controller The control is pretty neat. Uh, we can swivel that camera up and down with this button here, down and, and up. Um, this has follow me ability. I think it's follow me, the GPS, it's following your phone GPS. I don't think it's in the controller. I, I doubt that. But um, to activate it, you press this button here to enter follow me. And this button here is for your camera control. Quick press is taking photos, and a long press is taking uh, video, starting and stopping video. I forgot to mention this controller has its own built-in battery that you charge, again, using a micro USB cable right there. So, you know, no need for AA batteries. This has its own battery built into it. Um, the buttons on this, this button here is for return to home. Quick press and it'll do a return to home and landing. Long press, it'll enter into headless mode. It does automatic takeoff and landing by a quick press. And you can emergency or shut down the quadcopter, or emergency stop if you land in the tree or a bush to save your motors by doing a double click of this button. Click, click, like so. Um, you can change the rates of the quadcopter by press of this button, quick press, and you can adjust trim. I don't need, see why you would need to uh, adjust trim unless you're in uh, altitude hold mode by a prolonged press which means you can't enter into altitude hold mode with this quadcopter. You can turn off GPS by a prolonged press of the right stick. And uh, a quick press should enter back into GPS mode. Um, I'm not going to enter into op or altitude hold mode because this is a GPS quadcopter, and I feel you should fly it as a GPS quadcopter <laughs> for this uh, review. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, as mentioned, you start the quadcopter by... Here, let's put it on a flat surface and then pressing this battery and holding it in with that button on the, the battery. And that should power up the quadcopter. Quadcopter is powered. Then we'll start up the uh, transmitter and bind it up and down. Now, since this is its first flight, we're going to do a compass calibration. And to do that, you press this button up and to the right. And uh, this button, or this um, patrol stick up and to the left simultaneously and you should get a change of lights 
yeah, we get rapid purple blinking and rapid white blinking in the front. So we do rotate until that changes. Okay, rapid purple blinking stops. So now we go vertically like so. It's just one turn that you need to do. And there we go. We got saw all the lights. We're ready to go. Okay, I'm going to open up the app and we'll go for the flight now. Okay, this is the SJ GPS app available on Google Play and iTunes. And I notice that right now I have S20W, S20P-D GPS selected, which is my drone. But all the other SJRC drones are also available here. Um, you can, S20, this is the S20W versions. And I, my correct version is the S720P version. Now I think you can swipe right or left. Yeah, you can swipe left and you can see the other GPS quadcopters that they have and uh, Wi-Fi flyers that they have that work with this app. But again, we're flying the 720p version. And it has instructions. You hit quick start and it gives you the instructions of this drone. And we're going to back out of that and uh, learn to fly um, with Chrome. There's a video and we're not going to go into that. Uh, but we're, what we need to do to fly this is hit controls. And before I even came out here, I connected this drone at home via Wi-Fi so it knows to look for this drone and connect to it. Okay, we're, let me restart uh, Mobizen. We'll go for a flight. Okay, I restarted my Mobizen screen recorder. Uh, before we go for a flight, see the upper right corner of the three bars? We're going to hit that and hit open up the settings there. And take a look here. You see that this quadcopter has um, uh, geofence. Okay, and by default, it's turned on to 30 meters up and 30 meters out as a beginner. You want to turn that off like I did there. So, see, if you turn it to like that, it turns on to 30 meters and 30 meters. You don't want that. So, you want to turn it off. Let me turn it off again. And quit beginner mode. And I have this saved for maximum flight distance of 400 meters and maximum altitude of 100 meters and my return to home altitude of 25 meters. So, Keep in mind that there are maximums, like I think the maximum height you can go is 120 meters, which is about uh, 400 feet. <laughs> I wonder why they do that. <laughs> we know why they do that, because the FAA does it when you're flying higher than 400 feet. And 400 meters flight distance. So we're going to hit save. And um, other things on this, uh, we have uh, telemetry in the upper right corner. The Wi-Fi or the GPS telemetry is not included. I don't know. The only way you can tell that you got GPS is if you got solid lights, and that tells you you're ready to go, you're ready to fly. And also in the lower left corner, it tells you you're ready to fly. So let's take to the air just so I can stop my jabbering here. So I'm going to hit the automatic takeoff land button. And we'll see how well that compass calibration was. And also I'm going to start recording video by pressing down the right button and holding it. Now notice this beeps <laughs> while recording. Let's go a bit higher. It's holding its position very well. Let me get in the picture. Say, how do you like my shirt today folks? Can you see me on the ground? I think this will work. <laughs> and we'll go up higher and fly around the field. And pushing forward. See if we go to the far end of the field. And see when I lose FPV signal. Going up higher. Height 23 meters. And I got good FPV signal from this drone. And we're 75 meters out and I'm at the end of the field. I don't want to go any farther than the end of the field. Let me turn slowly to the left. Good FPV signal. Excellent FPV signal. Let's go out this way now. Pushing forward. Coming back my way. Plop it over my head for a second. I can see it up there. Plop it right there. Let's try that. Lower the angle of the camera. We'll go all the way down. I guess it doesn't go all the way down. That's about as far as it goes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. Bringing it back up again. 
So the camera angle doesn't go all the way down. Um, that's limited by the tilt of that uh, camera pod. But pushing forward again, let's head to the other end of the field. Well, it tells you you're recording. That's the only thing about this. It has that annoying beep, beep, beep. Let's go over that end of the field. Get some distance. We'll go over by the uh, skate park. Heading towards the skate park. 105 meters at. Right, 25 meters at. Excellent distance on this thing. I'll go to the skate park and then I'm going to do a return to home and landing. Okay, that's about it. 161 meters. I still got FPV reception, but just control reception. Going a little higher, see if that improves it. See if I can make it to 200 meters. 200 meters, 210 meters. Okay, let's do a return to home from there. So pressing the return to home button. Oh, it's doing it already. <laughs> it's flying back already. It sensed that I lost signal and it does an automatic return to home and boy does it move. <laughs> boy is it moving. <laughs> it comes back at high speed. <laughs> does it measure the velocity? I'm going to have to re review that um, telemetry information because that, that was high speed coming back here. And now it's doing its descent from on high. So again, I was about 210 meters out or so, and then I lost connection, and did an automatic return to home, and look at that, how fast that comes down. Does it slow down before, yeah, there it goes. It slows down before touching down, and does a nice, gentle landing. That's excellent, actually. Let me stop that camera, stop that beeping. Took a photo. I got return home turned on, don't I? There, and stopping the camera again. Camera stop. Okay, um, let's try something else. Follow me. We're gonna put it back on the pad again. Starting the camera one more time. Automatic takeoff. Going up a bit higher. Plopping it right there. Moving out a little further. <laughs> and hitting, follow me. <laughs> I got a visitor here. He wants to see what I'm doing. Hi, hi there. Hi, hello, hello. That's a good boy. There you go, there you go. <laughs> I better lay it first. Hold on. Turning off, follow me. And yeah, doing automatic landing. There he goes. Oh, he wants my drone. No. <laughs> We're going to go up higher so he doesn't get my drone. Sending the drone away. And there goes my drone. <laughs> going to the far end of the field. We're going to try following me here in a bit. But this is a nice little explorer drone. Well done by SJRC. And going up higher and then coming down. And reducing throttle, bringing it down lower. And we're going to try that follow me again. And going over this end of the, under me so you can see me. <laughs> I like dogs. I'm going to go a little further out and hit follow me. Let's see if it follows me. 
it does follow me. But it does a little toilet bowl while it follows me. Let me turn off follow me. Hold on. Follow me turned off. Let's go a bit higher. Lower the camera angle. Okay. Getting a little further away. Hitting follow me again. Follow me is activated. I'm walking away from it this time. Is it following me? Doesn't seem to be. Let me try it again. So it seems following me might need a little work on this. Okay, it's doing something now. Seems to be landing. It lost signal is what it did. It lost GPS signal from my phone. So, oh, we're low battery. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> so that's the end of the flight. So that's its uh, flight time. We can see its flight time here. Let me turn off that camera. You know, I activated that follow me. I saw some uh, um, wobble. Okay, I saw that in the other SJRCs. They seem to have that same wobble uh, in follow me. So, you know, there, there might be an issue with the follow me. I better probably do, a, I am going to do a follow up with this. I want to try to fly it using this controller. <laughs> We're going to see if I could, that can be done. Uh, also, I wanted to try the, uh, um, the mode flying it with the screen. Okay. Uh, I, that wasn't implemented in the other SJRC. I'm not sure if it's implemented on this one either because when I press center, return to home, <laughs> see how wiggly that is? Let me put that on the ground. But let's reduce the, uh, I can't seem to get it to work. Okay. I'm not sure that this is also implemented with this current SJRC, uh, the, you know, the swipe on the screen, uh, waypoint flying mode. I don't think that has been implemented. And again, uh, I saw again the toilet bowl effect while I was doing follow me. So, and I saw that in other SJRCs that I flew. So that might not be as good an option to use as other follow me drones. So, but uh, as a, just an Explorer drone, this was excellent. It actually was flying great out to about 200 meters radius of my area, of my position. Um, when you'd exceed uh, about 200 meters, it would seem to, you know, it would lose connection with the transmitter and would do a return to home, which is great too. It's supposed to do that. But uh, going out to 400 meters, you know, th through the geofence, I don't think this is capable of doing that. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.